I'm, I'm going to quickly give a quick guide to uh, Memory Zone 2 skip, uh, because it's not entirely self-explanatory how to do it. Uh, I've got some couple of setups and things to do. But first of all, before you come into Memory Zone 2, uh, the figly amount you have to do is very specific to get it to work. So you have to do uh, red blue room, then uh, bath boss's bathroom, um, warehouse, uh, bottom of stairs, and boss's office in that order gets to work. Uh, so this is going to be just, uh, as as normal for now. Right. Yeah, so of course you can jump over that uh, printer. Pretty standard skip. I think it's like literally a day of one skip jumping over the printer. Your entire life didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Uh, so the, the the steps and the theory behind all these skips and the setups. Um, the the theory and like the initial idea came from uh, Comedy Bronze, who uh, kind of like put the uh, the foundations in in terms of like using uh, our tr our trainer, like the mod that we use to fly around to test that the skip worked. Uh, then myself and Joshua uh, worked on the rest of the skip to like, set up and uh, fixing any issues, uh, which we'll talk about if issues that arise later. Uh, we'll just some like, general optimizations of it. Alright, so when you come to the choice room, you should have boss's bathroom and warehouse, which are things. You're going to come to the boss's bathroom. You need to walk fa far enough so that the door opens. Which means you activate the trigger. You're going to come here. Although this is going to be a bit finicky. Uh, I recommend getting the practice mod. Which I'll leave a link for in the description. Uh, so practicing this because it gives you a few jumps. Uh, I'm practicing this whole thing as well. It's very useful. So you're going to do um, curtain climb. So you're going to kind of climb the curtain, kind of following this seam, like, diagonally. So you just keep jumping whilst holding forwards, kind of into this diagonal, until you get to around here. And then you just come right through the curtain. Alright, so you're going to walk all the way up to the end until you hit the wall. You're going to walk, you're going to keep holding W. You're going to tap D a few times until you go around the wall. And as soon as you go past the wall a little bit, you're going to hold A and S. You hold A and then S. So you, well, you're gonna tap A quickly and then S to come back. Come back on yourself. So you kind of like you do like a whole like turn around this invisible pillar. Do this and then you come around. See this is like the gap. Around sit here. You want to be this part. It's a little finicky. Probably the hardest part of the trick. So you want to be as like far back as possible. And you want to crouch and keep pressing A uh, until you're about too far. If you go too far here, yeah, you mess up. So you have on the edge. You can tell if you get near the edge because you can kind of like. Uh, you might even be able, to, uh, you might be able to see that I kind of fell off the edge a little bit. But you want to get like near the edge. Uh, and then the setup here is you want to go far enough forward so that uh, you can see this pink pillar uh, in the pink room, which is like next, next to these boxes, this pillar. Half of that should be visible. When half of that is visible, you want to pause, you want to hold D, and then you want to do the fast pa uh, pause and unpause method. So you're going to press space to press resume the game. I'd recommend unbinding, uh, unbinding jump from uh, space for this. I haven't done something else. So you can hold D, and press space to resume the game, and then immediately press escape again. You need these fast pauses whilst holding down D. Do a few, 
It's usually fine to stop doing them when she can see the full pillar inside the room. Uh, then you're going to face forwards, so you're going to hold pressing back until you fall all the way down. But if you stored the portal correctly from doing the pauses, you pre if you've got your back fully against the back wall, press, press a, a, couple, tap a a couple of times, you should, if I didn't do it properly here, Far back. Oh, that was too far. It's fine. Just got a little fire mode to get back up. Put your back against the wall and you want to press A a couple of times until you swap like that. Once you get to this point, you want to move your camera so you're facing slightly to the left. Not too far, you don't want to go to the right, but you want to aim too far left. You don't want to be in the middle, you want to be a little bit to the left, and you're just going to hold it at W uh, until you get to about in line with where this corridor would be. Then you need to swing and aim for this curtain. And you should be put out of bounds. Yeah. Okay, so. There's an alternative skip here, which you can skip uh, a, a bit of the narrator's dialogue. Uh, but it can be a bit tricky. So we're going to aim to land on the seam of the boss's office wall. Uh, kind of on the right hand side of uh, the area. So we'll see if I can get it. Okay. That wasn't what I was aiming for. I was aiming for this scene. If you land up on this, you're fine. Okay, so this could be a bit tricky. So you want to navigate around this wall up until there. Uh, you don't want to crouch, you don't want to press the jump. Because both of those will mess this up. You just want to use uh, W to walk forwards and take time around corners. What's this? You want to, and then you just want to drop down to the uh, start of this. You'll get this flickering effect. So, this is another important thing. Um, it's RNG whether or not this section allows you to go all the way through. Uh, the way but we have a way which where we can roll multiple times without getting a soft lock. So I'd recommend crouching. You want to hold W, you want to hold D, go on this side. And then you're going to hold W as well as D uh, until you can keep going forwards. Uh, either you'll go straight through and it'll be fine, or you'll hit a black screen. If you hit a black screen, um, by just if you crouch, you'll go a little bit forwards at a time. Um, to get the black screen. As soon as you hit the black screen, you just hold S to come back out. Um, and then you can just again go up, hold W once it starts stuckering again. Let's try again. Get it lucky went like that. Press S, you can have a little try. And then you can come back out like that. And then uh, there's going to be this dialogue. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, Mr. Zone. So that, that was one problem that uh, me and Joshua kind of brainstormed to fix. Joshua, that was Joshua's setup, uh, holding D and doing the, the W back and forth thing. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading so, screen. by... There's some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these Um... Let's just go backwards. Okay, Let's so another thing we have to do here... The opposite direction. See how that feels. So, by skipping the dialogue, by walking around the seam of the top of the wall, uh, I like to crouch, and then you're going to hook the wall around. Hook it tightly. I'm going to jump over this. Yeah, so if you keep hugging the wall like that, uh, this door will open up. If you don't hold the wall, that door will run open because you hit the other dialogue. Uh, 
So the reason we have stairs fifth is because um, because we skip most of the figlies. We skip all the figlies. Um, uh, the matter which uh, figly set you have here, uh, the door or the black void will never clear. This one. The only way to go around this is by having stairs fifth and using jump storage to jump up the stairs. Yes, I love that video. Uh, and then you can jump or kind of just strafe around the side and uh, get fall back in bounds. You can either fall in here or you can be going down there. Uh, you see that door never opens. Just a way to get through. Uh, and then that's it. It's now just you just walk to the end. This one, good room though, a solid room. Let's see what came next. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here in the boss's bar. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. So with all that, uh, you should have hopefully skipped all of Memory Zone 2. You just have to do the backtrack. Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Uh, I suppose I'll go to the end and show the other skip here. Uh, it, for those that aren't aware, and using this as like a learning the any percent route for the first time guide. What else is there? What came before this? The thing to also make be made aware of a portal of is it is a jump circle on this map. Um, I'm using a like a, a flying trainer mod. Uh, which has which we have infinite jumps. Um, you technically only have a finite amount of attempts to get each those uh, tricks and stuff, which have jumping. Um, because if you run out of jumps, then uh, you can't finish. You can't do it all. So you just want to be very careful with the amount of jumps you use in the run. Other sections for your total count. I remember the yeah, the very last thing. Remember Zone 2. Was... As soon as the screen goes to black. I yeah. To make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each. Uh, you can the game again. Which is the uh, necessary trigger for uh, epilogue progress.